This is the first time Officer Tim Purdy and 18-year-old Jeremiah Glover have seen one another since that dangerous day. Long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing all right? Yeah. Yeah. And this is the first time Jeremiah's mom has seen the now famous photo. Wow. And this is what happened. This is 911. May 12th, North Carolina, Charlotte. Jeremiah's mother calls 911 to report her autistic son missing. He's got a history of violence, maybe suicidal. Oh, we were doing good, and I don't know what happened today. Purdy, a 22-year police veteran, is just starting his day. On the radio, he already hears two fellow officers have found Jeremiah, but he reads something else in their voices. You know what, let me just kind of head that way and see if I might be able to help out a little bit. Driving up, he sees the officers physically struggling to restrain the team. I pulled right here. And senses it's about to go very bad. His next move is remarkable. So as I approached them, um, I just kind of got down on my knees, you know, and, and tried to get to his level. Um, what did you talk about after that? Uh, football, uh, um, the Panthers. The explosive situation turned into a conversation. A fellow officer was so moved by the scene, he took a photo. It went viral. So tell me this, was the getting down on his level training or something you have just learned? Just something that I've learned over the years. Jeremiah's distraught mom remembers racing up, fearing the worst. The officer definitely um, was on his level, sitting with them, communicating, and my son was safe. Purdy is overwhelmed by all of the attention, saying he knows other cops do similar things daily without any recognition. There you go. Leave on a good one, brother. What could have gone wrong has turned out more than all right thanks to a police officer who showed up armed with compassion. Martin Savage, CNN, Charlotte.